Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Hi, everyone. Welcome to a special episode of the Mama's Geeky Show. I have some incredibly talented guys here with me today. Why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves? Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Justin Briner. I'm the English voice of Deku. And hi, everybody. I'm Clifford Chapin. I am the English voice of Kotsky Bakugo. Now, uh, I got to ask you guys, what does it feel like to be a part of like such an incredible fandom? Like this is huge. My Hero Academia is huge. It's, um, it's both an honor and extremely humbling. Uh, you know, it, like you said, it's become such a phenomenon and we live in, in a huge time of, of superhero pop culture. So it, it just hit at this perfect uh, time. And I'm, I'm really glad to see people enjoying it. What, what means the most to me right now is, is like you said, there's so much passion from the fans, uh, but families are getting together to watch mm -hmm. this show now. And like growing up when anime wasn't super cool, couldn't really <laughs> get my folks in on it uh, to see you know, families sitting down every week watching this show that that I helped to get tell the story is is really meaningful. So that's been really cool. Yeah, completely agree. I mean, it's just it is 100% just a privilege and an honor to get to be a part of this and to to be a part of something that is so important to so many people's lives uh, for, for such as the reasons that Justin mentioned, like so many parents watch it with their kids and and it's like a family bonding experience i mean there are people that i i went to school with when i was a kid who i uh, who watched the show now and it's like oh man i we haven't spoken since i was 16 you know and and uh oh you watch that show i'm in you know it's kind of it's it's crazy uh to see that it has such a wide reach and impact and, and there are so many people that are touched by it um it's just an honor to be a part of something that's so present and and means so much to so many people yeah well how did you guys get involved in this uh in this world uh just voiceover wise i mean I, well I, just I, in the show oh. but voiceover wise too i guess yeah sure um so for for getting involved in my hero uh, i had basically been doing some voiceover with funimation for like two maybe three years at that point still pretty pretty new all things considered uh but for me and it's i, I it was just a regular audition for me. <laughs> I know that there was a lot of like uh, hype and uh, surrounding it all. And I was excited to see how it all shook out and, and to see the show. But uh, for my personal audition, it was really just nothing special. Uh, I walked in, I, I tried to do my best. I recognized that Deku was maybe where my voice fit the most. So I, I really, I, you know, I gave it my all, but I've been pretty conditioned to, to uh, set it and forget it as far as auditions go. Mm -hmm. and this, uh, this one really turned out amazingly. <laughs> Yeah, it's that's exactly it. As I had been working at Funimation uh, just a few short years longer than Justin, and and I got called in to do the audition. Um, you know, I had watched the first two episodes to kind of get a sense of what the show was. But uh, any audition, you just go into it, you lay down the best thing you can as as fast as you can and as efficiently, and then you just try to forget about it because uh, it hurts so much more if you keep lingering on it and then eventually find out you didn't get it. Um, so you just sort of go in, do my best, uh, and then just try and walk away from it. Uh, so much so that when I got, when I was told uh, that I was voicing Kotsky, I didn't even know who the character was anymore. I'd forgotten his name. Because um, I just was like, I'm just going to forget all about it. I don't want to know anything about the show if I don't get it. So um, uh, so when they were like, you're playing Kotsky. I was like, I don't know who that is. And it's like, oh, <laughs> it's, the, it's the rival. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> so... Oh, that's funny. Um, what I love about the movie about Heroes Rising is you can watch it not having seen the show, which is actually how I got into My Hero. I just, I got asked if I wanted to review the movie. I did. And then I was like, wait, 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 no, I need to know more. Mm -hmm. So um, have you heard that a lot? Are there a lot of people who are coming into it from the movie? Um, yeah, I, I have heard that before. And I, I think that's really gratifying, you know, like it's, it's such a great film on its own that it is able to draw people in and, and get people interested in the story. Uh, and I like on the other side of things, you know, that it also rewards people who have, uh, have been there from the beginning and get their little moments to be like, oh my gosh, look, I, I recognize this from that. Uh, mm -hmm. So all in all, I just think, you know, it speaks to kind of how well put together the, the film is and how, how the emotional core of it can really speak to you no matter what. Yeah, totally the same. Um, the thing is though, like the movie's only just about now coming out for home video. 
Um, so I'm hoping that now more people will get to experience mm -hmm. it. There were a few people who w had said that, like, I watched the movie with my friends. I went and saw it with my, my kids. And now, I, now I'm going to go and watch the show because it seems so good. Um, there were a few of that, but because the, the runtime was cut a little short in the, the theaters, um, mm -hmm. I think now that it's finally becoming accessible um, on home video, I'm hoping that it will spark yeah. a whole new wave of more people getting into it. And, and there's a ton of like Easter eggs and payoffs for people. Cause I know I had friends who were like, you have to watch it. You have to watch it. And I was like, I will, I will, I will. And then I was like, Hey, I got this heroes rising. They're like, yeah, how did you get that early? What is going on? And I'm like, okay, I'll watch it. And then, and then I even noticed it going back and watching the episodes. I'm like, Oh yeah. So I'm, it's funny cause I'm catching it the other way around. Well, right. that's perfect though. I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, real quick, uh, I want to know, one of my subscribers, he begged me to mention his name, Joshua Stark. He wants to know if you guys have read forward in the mangas and if you are, you know, kind of prepared for where your characters are going to be going. He says it's very emotional. <laughs> well, Joshua, uh, I, I, yeah, I do read ahead. Um, you know, at the time of saying this right now, I may not be completely caught up, but I'm generally there. And, uh, yeah, it, I, I am just, um... I'm super excited to see where it's heading. And uh, for me, anytime I, I see a really cool moment in the manga, it just, it, it, in my brain, I'm like, well, I want to see that animated more than anything. Mm -hmm. uh, and it always exceeds my expectations and then some. So uh, I, yeah, I, I, I'm just hoping to, to see more of it brought to life. Yeah. Uh, hey, Joshua, uh, I have not read the manga. Oh. Uh, I don't read ahead. I go into the uh, sessions uh, pretty much uh dry to it um i may <clears throat> i may have seen the subtitled version ahead of time um if it's done otherwise cause, but a lot of times we're dubbing them simultaneously so the english version is coming out with the japanese version so i can't even really watch it with subtitles uh ahead of it but most of the time i'm going in fairly blind i tend to know if something big is coming because uh i'll get a lot of interaction on twitter from people uh <laughs> But that's about the, the most I'll ever know is like, okay, something's coming up and I, I need to be ready. Uh, I, I'm going in with my teeth gritted. So. Uh, I got to know if you guys could have your own quirk, what would it be? Uh, I've been told that this is lame. So let me. <laughs> uh, I, I want, and now that I'm thinking about it, it's sort of the same quirk from Ratatouille. <laughs> right. Uh, like I want to be able to taste anything and immediately know the ingredients, the, the seasonings, the, the proportions, etc. cetera. Uh, yeah. I don't think that's <laughs> lame. That's awesome. Cause then you can recreate lame. your favorite meals at home. Exactly. Listen, that's not lame. Thanks. All right. Well, mine is lame. Uh, <laughs> because I, uh, I came up with this a while ago, but I think it would be an interesting power for someone to be able to like prick their finger and then like, wipe it on text that's on screen and fix all the grammatical errors in somebody's like online posts. Um, and his uh, hero name could be type O. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, like uh, that. So that's, that is my, uh, that is my desired quirk. <laughs> I like that. That's good. <laughs> Even Twitter where you can't edit. Cause that would yeah, be perfect. Yep. Yeah. yep. You can fix it all. Perfect. <laughs> Character limit doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, how are you guys similar or different from your characters? Uh, I, we definitely share sort of a, a nervous energy. I think we're both pretty kind of observational um, by nature. Um, otherwise, uh, we're pretty goal-oriented, I think. Uh, maybe even to a fault, uh, we can get pretty stubborn when it comes to... <laughs> Uh, you know, pursuing single-minded things, etc. Uh, but otherwise, um, I think he may even more than me have a little more uh, get up and go in him. So I try to uh, I'm trying to model myself a little more off Deku these days. Uh, and I I have a similar answer is that a lot of the things that I relate to the most with Bakugo are about his drive and his passion to succeed and and overcome and try and be the best at the thing that he's doing. Um, I have a lot of pride in, in the work that I do and, and I'm always trying to improve and push myself further. Um, I would say I'm different in the fact that I'm not so quick to uh, get mad at other people, maybe, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have a little bit better of a gauge on my temper 
um, and just don't, I don't scream nearly as much. If, if there's one thing that people <laughs> say to me all the time when they meet me is they're like, your voice is so nice compared to what uh, you do on the show. And I'm always like, well, <laughs> that's, that's where the acting comes in. So <laughs> that's great. Well, thank you guys so much for talking to me today. And uh, everybody out there, My Hero Academia Hero, Heroes Rising is out October 27th on Blu-ray Digital DVD. So check it out. Heck yeah.